What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Techno Tips jQuery tutorial. So this is my fourth tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be discussing about the element selector in jQuery. Okay, so before proceeding with this video, you can watch my previous tutorial that is part three of this video series. In that video, I have explained what are selectors in jQuery. Okay, so this video in continuation with part three, so don't forget to watch that. Okay, so in the previous tutorial, I have discussed about what are selectors and I already have covered ID selectors, class selectors. Okay, now it's time to discuss about the element selector. So here you can see the example of element selector. We can select the element by its element name. Okay, so you can select the div element by this and uh, you, if you want to select the paragraph element, then you can do like this. Okay, you, if you want to select the span, then you can do like this okay we will try this example practically so let's move to the visual studio okay so in the previous tutorial I, I have just discussed about the ID selector and class selectors okay so here instead of see see the output first so here I am just making the uh, I'm just selecting the both div uh, by its class name div1 comma dot div2 okay and the C uh, CSS property has been applied to both div okay and now I'll just instead of if I just want to uh, write this property on each and every div then I just need to write only div here okay the same thing will be happen here see the same output I had just got okay and if I just write the span element here okay so all the span will get the border red okay whether it is nested or it doesn't matter let's see just copy this and just try it here so here got nested okay and refresh it you will get the nested one also has got the border okay control Z okay now let's try to do this uh, try to uh, create a table so inside the div element I'm just creating a table table will have tr inside the tr I'll, I just need th let's say name of employee uh, and the second one is the th will have the department okay and the table after the this row, table will have the table d body and inside that t body will have the tr and inside this tr will have the td and I will just take 2DD for this okay inside this like say name is Ashish and the department is development okay let's copy this so I just copy all the tier control delete control delete let's copy this row and paste it multiple time okay let's name the John Sarah let's say Lara Matthew okay and the department is QA let's say department is implementation okay now let's see how my table look like okay and I'm just setting the width of this so first of all I just need to set the border border as one so that it I can see it so I'll just give this div as the same margin bottom okay just copying it and then pasting it here and semicolon okay let's give the width equal to 30 percent 
it equal to 30 I think I, if it when we just use only 13 I think okay let's say 100 nothing working so we will just use style style should be width it's better to use 30 <coughs> person okay now my table is ready and I just want to apply uh, some CSS using this okay so just copy that above copy and just paste it here okay I'm just applying into the table okay table and table will have the th table row will have the background color background color I'm just setting out let's say red okay and the color should be white okay so here I'm just selecting that element with this uh, with the element name okay now reload this see my table header has got the background red and font color as red okay now I just want the all the table row let's say tr got the background as blue and color as white so see all the TR rows got the background color blue and font color white and now the third scenario would be let's say TR colon even okay with this colon even I'll just set the CSS blue okay so you will see alternate alternate TR let's say even so this this is also a TR so TR 0 1 and 2 okay so 2 is even 3 and 4 4 is even 5 and 6 is even okay so I have just successfully applied to the TR element even row and you can also just try the odd odd row okay so let's say background color should be yellow and the color should be black <laughs> okay so this is uh, in this way you can select the table element and you can have uh, uh, you can have any property attached to it okay so I'm just selecting another example let's say just copy that and paste I'm selecting the div with table will have the border like this let's come in that okay reload that okay so div with table tr has been color has has got the border okay border red or border blue you can set any color okay and if you remove this then every each and every div will have the border blue see the border blue blue and blue okay and uh, let's say if you set the span let's say inside this div you are taking another element span then all the span will get the border as blue okay and uh, I have discussed all this scenario and uh, let's suppose you will have in the third scenario let's say I have uh, h1 say if you want to set all the h1 h2 h3 properties 
So let's add error 1. Here is a error 1. Just copy that error 2. And I'll take paragraph 2. Paragraph let's say one okay and just got the two let's say copy that two paragraph two and also let's copy that paragraph three and h1 h2 h3 okay and here uh, let's say right now you will not see anything so as you see header 1 header 2 so you make it 2 and yeah, make it 3 and this is 3 okay and here on the top I just want to set all the header 1 header 2 header 3 properties as let's say so just write h1 comma h2 comma h3 comma paragraph and comma span now all the header 1 header 2 header 3 will get the same property as well as you will get the span also will have the same border okay so with the help of this uh, element name you can set the common properties to all the like say all the header will have uh, if you set all the header will have the same uh, like font style same of uh, uh, width height anything else you just want to apply on uh, each CSS okay so it depends on you whatever you want to apply so it will be easier to you to apply collectively on the complete div on the complete element okay so this was the example of uh, element uh, uh, jquery element selector okay so let's try some th different if I just want to put only paragraph so only the paragraph will be selected okay now here you can see the output collectively even you can pass all the table with header 1 header 2 header 3 header 4 will have all the so with the help of this uh, element attribute you can do uh, a big task okay okay so paragraph also has uh, some properties like uh, you can access the first first paragraph element okay the first paragraph element it means the first paragraph will be will co will get the uh, border properties okay so here you can see first and also you can get the last one so just copy that and make that so so the first and last will get the blue one see and the second one is left okay so I hope you got the concept of element selector and I hope you enjoyed it a lot and uh, if you like this video then give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video among your friend and help them too and uh, in the next tutorial I'll be discussing about the attribute selector okay so thank you very much for watching have a great day